So Adam, Twitter has updated its uh, front page. I always rather like the fact that it was all text and really simple. I guess I'm just a bit out of touch. Maybe so. I don't know. People uh, have been uploading pictures and video to Twitter for some time, and I think Twitter saw that and is now trying to capitalize it and bring some of that activity in-house. So, you know, as a user of Twitter, as a tweeter, what can I expect from this? How is it going to make my life better? So the experience is going to change a little bit. Now, when your friends, the people you follow, post pictures and post videos and things like that, you're going to be able to see them without leaving Twitter. Those are just going to open up in a new pane on the site so you can view them right there without leaving Twitter.com. So it just makes it a lot more practical. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, you can also you know, view people's profiles without jumping around. A lot of the functionality that's been built into some third-party applications by entrepreneurs and developers is now coming inside of Twitter.com instead. I mean, this is the trend that you know, all the other um, uh, big companies have been going down for some time, isn't it? I mean, you want to see as much as you possibly can on one page, you know, by opening new tabs, by having video in one corner, text in another, you name it. Exactly. Uh, just last month, Facebook actually became the site that people on the internet were spending more time on than any other site, even Google. And that's all a result of people, yeah, doing things like viewing pictures and viewing videos and seeing what news their friends are posting. And now Twitter's trying to get more of that action too. Is there a danger that we're just going to overload the screen with information? A little bit. I think some of us, uh, like myself, maybe already have, where we've been using some of these third-party apps that just have information coming in from hundreds of different sources whether it's friends or news sites or YouTube. Uh, and now Twitter you know, is going to contribute to that even more. And I think we're going to see rather quickly the amount of time that people are spending on Twitter.com uh, increasing quite a bit. Do you think it could rival Facebook? You know, I think Facebook has an advantage of most people there kind of interacting with their friends and the reason people go on Facebook to see what their friends are up to, which I still think is a little bit more compelling for mainstream users and part of the reason that five, Facebook has 500 million users and Twitter has only about 100 million. But I think for some people like you know myself and people that are really huge consumers of content and news, Twitter is going to become even more of a staple than it already is and you're going to see the numbers increase. Okay, and finally, what is your advice to someone who is seeking to increase his Twitter follower numbers dramatically in a short time? <laughs> so I think one thing uh, you can always do to improve your I'm not talking about myself, of course, you understand. Just yourself. Have you thought about no, no. taking out a billboard somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> Go on. <laughs> no, I think uh, you know one of the things that regular people can do if they want to improve their Twitter following is kind of find interesting people to follow and start engaging in a conversation with them. So if they post something interesting, you know, send them a reply, tell them what you think about it, and start engaging that way, and people will start to follow you back. In other words, don't be a Trappist monk. <laughs> exactly. Adam, thank you very much.